Hello there. Today I will talk about an ongoing clinical trial for patients with polymyositis and dermatomyositis. I will specifically talk about the trial drug, who can participate in the trial and other basic information about this ongoing clinical trial. My name is Rohit Agarwal. I'm a rheumatologist and professor of medicine at University of Pittsburgh, USA. I'm also the lead investigator in this clinical trial we will talk about, the Presidio study. The title of the trial is a phase 2 study of KZR616 to evaluate safety and efficacy in patients with active polymyositis and dermatomyositis. This is also called as the Presidio study. This is a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, which is a highest standard of clinical trial. Let us first talk about the novel molecule, the KZR616. Myositis, specifically polymyositis and dermatomyositis, are autoimmune diseases where body's own immune system is overactive and attacks body's own organ leading to inflammation of muscles and various other organs. Now, immunoproteosomes play a key role in the functioning of our immune system. KZR616 is first-in-class novel drug that selectively blocks the activity of these immunoproteosomes while keeping body's overall immune system safely up and working. In other words, KZR616 appears to adjust the activity of these immunoproteosomes back to normal state. Therefore, KZR616 is hypothesized to restore muscles normal function and reduce the muscle damage seen in polymyositis and dermatomyositis. Now, let us review the design of the Presidio study. Now, in this trial, half of the patients with adult polymyositis and dermatomyositis will be given KZR616 in the first treatment period and the other half will be given placebo for the first 16 weeks. At the end of first 16 weeks, patients who were in KZR616 group first will receive placebo for 16 weeks and the patients who were in placebo group will receive KZR616 for 16 weeks. Also note that the patients as well as doctors will not know whether they are receiving KZR616 or placebo in first or the second 16 week period. The drug KZR616 is given as once a week weekly injection. It's a subcutaneous injection similar to an insulin injection given by a nurse. At the end of 32 weeks, it will be determined by a well-established criteria whether the KZR616 group patients did better than the placebo group patients. At the end of 32 weeks, patient can decide whether they want to join an extension phase for 12 months where they will be given once a week injection for 12 months or they can choose to opt out of the injection after that where they will be followed only for another 8 weeks without the KZR616 injection. Now let us review who can participate in this procedure study. Adult patients with confirmed diagnosis of polymyositis or dermatomyositis who have active disease despite receiving steroid and at least one other immune suppressive drug like methotrexate or azathioprine or mycophenolate in past can participate in procedure trial. In addition, patients should have significant muscle weakness based on physician testing of muscle strength and should undergo few clinical and laboratory testing to qualify for the trial. Finally, let us review what patients would have to do to be part of this study or this clinical trial. Overall, there are about 36 visits planned over 36 weeks of the study. However, home health services are available where a study nurse will visit patients home to administer the weekly injection. That will significantly reduce patients visit to the hospital or clinic to about one visit per month. Moreover, there is travel support provided in case of need. During these once a month clinic visit or hospital visit, you will be asked several questions regarding your medical history and your myositis history and your general health. In addition, a doctor will examine you regarding your current status of myositis and you will have to do some health questionnaires related to myositis. 
you will also have an ECG or electrocardiogram and some blood draw to assess your general health and myositis condition. In the end, let's review the safety of KZR616. KZR616 was evaluated in laboratory and healthy volunteers with good safety profile, except some injection site reactions can happen that are transient and mild. Moreover, the drug was well tolerated in a recently completed lupus clinical trial where most patients had only mild and transient side effects. In the end, please ask your myositis doctor if you could be considered for this clinical trial. There are several sites that are currently active across US for this clinical trial. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful for your decision making about this trial.